Okay, so one of the problems that women are doing enormous amounts of backbreaking work, uh, but also they're getting very little pay for it. Mm -hmm. uh, you also mentioned that typically it's women who are doing this kind of work, the men don't do that work. Mm -hmm. uh, why is that? Well, for a couple of reason, reasons. Women are, are more meticulous and they're, they are very good at doing things that are more, you know, hand sort of work, mm -hmm. uh, picking uh, stuff. Um, but again, a lot of the time, culturally, it is the w woman who will go out and, and do a lot of the labor. Um, so it can be culturally, it can be just the way things are, um, but they are not in decision-making roles, mm -hmm. and they're not comfortable in decision-making roles. Um, women just, they don't feel qualified, uh, they don't have a history, they don't have a role model that's been in that position in the past. So um, working with the International Women's Coffee Allowance a lot, a lot provides a network of women globally so that women in Africa will get a chance to work with women in El Salvador and Costa Rica and Guatemala to see how these women have risen throughout the supply chain and be encouraged by that and be able to create roadmaps within mm -hmm. their own country as to how they can move up to higher levels. Mm -hmm. So uh, part of the solution then is uh, business education for the women, mm -hmm. uh, either forming co-ops or learning how to put business structures together so that they feel comfortable mm -hmm. in assuming the leadership roles. Mm -hmm. okay. Part of the solution in the co Women in Coffee program that I'm working on uh, with the International Trade Center, we see is leadership training. We have a leadership training program that we will be working with the women leaders, the women who've been a part of this program mm -hmm. from the start. Um, and they are women who are concerned about helping other women. They're community builders. So um, we're having a leadership training um, program that will span throughout a year for, the, for these women. We're also investigating this idea of branding and um, putting a mark on a product potentially that signifies women's empowerment in coffee. Um, for some corporations, having a brand or a mark isn't so important, but it is important that women are uh, being compensated fairly in the supply chain. So finding ways to figure out how we may approach the market with, with such a product is interesting. But, um, you know, Walmart.com just announced um, in September that they will be introducing a coffee. Um, that shows empowerment for women uh, from one of the groups of women that we work with in Costa Rica. So we're, we're excited to see how that relationship might work. So, okay. so one element of it is uh, the compensation level for the, the work that's done. The other is the, the decision making and mm -hmm. empowering so they have the knowledge and the confidence to uh, take on the leadership roles. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe you also mentioned an issue of land ownership that in many mm -hmm. cases women don't own the land that mm -hmm. they are working. So then obviously they're not in a position to, uh, to, to share in the profits or to grow or to, to mortgage the property to, to do various things. Uh, why are tr women traditionally not uh, owning any of the land or yeah. why is that difficult for them? Well, you know, there's always been um, gender discrimination and in some cultures, it's, a lot of cultures, it's more it's better to have a male child than a female child. It's, mm -hmm. If you're gonna educate a child, you educate the son versus the daughter. Um, so women have just not been held in high regard. Mm -hmm. um, fewer opportunities are given to women. But I feel that with uh, several initiatives, global initiatives, um, things are changing. Uh, women are being pushed more into the forefront. and it's not just because women need to be women, but it's for economic reasons. Um, the UN Global Compact recently um, signed on to the Women Empowerment Principles, and this is the first piece of uh, information that allows women to um, be considered from an economic standpoint. We always talk about women when it comes to health and education, but economically, how in business, are women fearing? Mm -hmm. uh, how in ownership? Um, I don't know the numbers right off the top of my head, but less than 1% of land ownership globally belong to women. Um, so 
we as women, we're, we're way behind economically. And as I said, of the uh, world's one billion poor, um, 70, 80 percent are considered to be women. Mm -hmm. So until the world considers women as viable sources of economic, of being a part of this economic engine, mm -hmm. um, we won't get ahead. Um, women are working hard for less pay. Um, they're putting in long hours and um, they really need to be compensated because what they're doing with the dollars may, will make a difference globally. They are taking care of their children. They are educating their children and that's a benefit globally. So there's great value. So with the additional business knowledge and uh, changing attitudes so that women can own land, uh, mm -hmm. that will help them get a leg up the economic ladder. To go back to the issue of, uh, of loaning yet land, often there are traditional cultural reasons or family reasons, prizing boys more than prizing girls. Mm -hmm. Are there also uh, uh, religious mm -hmm. obstacles to be overcome? or uh, legal obstacles that just say women are not allowed to own property, do those things also have to be dealt with mm -hmm. as part of the mix? Oh yeah, you know, it's funny. When I was in Uganda, uh, one lady, she was a Muslim lady from far region where she owned, well, her family worked in coffee. And she said for religious reasons, you know, yeah, we don't own land from mm -hmm. where I am from. And the laws are very confusing and, you know, it's, they just didn't know where it was. Mm -hmm. And we had some great discussions around that. Um, but what was interesting, she said that her perspective on all of that and the lack of land ownership, which is what's perceived to be the number one problem for women if you talk to them um, when it comes to agriculture, they don't own land, they don't own what's produced on the lands, mm -hmm. they're just you know peasant workers on the land. Um, she said, my attitude is while I am here, and I kept asking, what does that mean? And she said, while I am here, I'm not gonna fight the things that I can't change, but I'm going to work as hard as I can to make a difference in that that I do have control over. Mm -hmm. So, you know, women are creative and they know that if change is gonna happen, they have to lead it. Mm -hmm. And I can say that leaders of countries, leaders of industries, start to pay attention when issues have been raised by different organizations, different uh, people in power. So bringing recognition and light to organizations um, is critical. The Eastern African Fine Coffee Organization is a trade, organi trade support organization in East Africa that makes up several different countries that work in coffee. They've never had an indigenous woman on their board in their 10 year history. Mm -hmm. Um, they now have a gender program that they've developed the last year since this program has started to bring women on board, to give them a seat at the table in all the countries where they operate. Up until now, they never hmm. considered. Right, so. Another part of the decision-making role issue. Exactly. Yeah. So things are changing. Right. You mentioned the various organizations that uh, you volunteer for and work for. And that there are, are a United Nations rather initiative uh, mm -hmm. uh, in at least five countries uh, in mm -hmm. Africa. Where can people go for more information about this or to follow the progress of these initiatives? Sure. Um, you can go to the International Trade Center website, which is at www.intracin.org. Or you can visit the International Women's Coffee Alliance, uh, which is just womenincoffee.org, okay. um, or our website, bdimports.com, right. which kind of talks about the work we do. Okay. okay. Well, thanks for being with us today. Oh, thank fun. you. Thank Appreciate you. It's it been my much. pleasure. All right.